hey everyone what's going on welcome to the channel and thank you for taking your own time out to click on this video where today i've just gotten back from the cinema after checking out demon slayer kimetsu no yaiba to the swordsmith village yeah i gotta check out this kind of special event tonight at my local cine world with a couple of my brothers and brother-in-law and good friends so yeah really cool time to experience this on the big screen which i thought was a really cool event because the anime itself demon slayer this is going to be spoiler free i'm going to touch on a couple of characters but nothing too crazy where it'll spoil the show for you if you want to check it out for the first ever time or you're waiting for this to premiere on a streaming service so yeah this kind of special event featured episodes from the entertainment district arc episodes 10 and 11 ending that kind of arc and where we're up to at present date and that kind of features the battle of tanjiro versus two of the upper six Daki and Gaituro, which I will say, by the way, it was absolutely epic getting to see that awesome fight up on the big screen and kind of reliving it because it was an amazing fight ends on such a cool note and definitely a note where you're wondering, right, well, what's kind of next for our characters? So to follow on from that with the swordsmith village arc episode one which i think demon slayer fans were all waiting for and see how this is all going to start all i will say is it follows straight on from the entertainment district arc and the aftermath of that but it also adds in here of a big meeting at the infinity castle of all the upper rank demons which i will say is absolutely magnetic it was so, so cool. The visuals, just the meeting of all these upper rank demons in one place. And we get to see a little bit more of Muzan as well, who I personally think is a great villain and doesn't really get shown enough in the entire Demon Slayer anime. Yes, the character is there and it's present and you're always going to know, like, right, that is kind of probably going to be the big final boss of this anime. But I still love seeing that appearance of the character Muzan and I really hope we see more of it throughout this season will we I don't know but what I can honestly tell you about in terms of a spoiler free episode review for this is again it carries straight on from the entertainment district arc we get some answers as to what's happened to our characters who's maybe going to be the the enemy and villain in this season coming forward or this arc should I say and this Again, guys, I can't rave about it enough. I'm going to be completely transparent. This meeting at the Infinity Castle, the sheer effects and visuals that was executed is truly tremendous. I was in awe and fixated to the screen, watching every single little moment of that play out. And I was just kind of like with my mouth open. I was like, whoa, like, wow, okay. I was sold. It takes a very dark turn, I will say, and it really brings you into the vibe and kind of a vibe of what this season could really really bring or future arcs and seasons could bring to this anime where it's going to probably lead to some very exciting stuff there was a little bit of moments here or there where i felt like okay this episode's really cool it leaves us on some questions going into it would it have changed a couple of things about this episode yeah probably like one or two things but i think for an opener of an arc of swordsmith village this does a pretty good job and i'm excited for you guys to be able to check this out when it does hit a streaming service so have you seen demon slayer kimitsu no yaiba the swordsmith village arc in cinemas or online wherever you've watched it if you have leave any and all comments down below so we can continue the discussion then there but yeah i hope that you've enjoyed this video and something a little bit different i definitely want to cover more anime here on the channel and i will be because as you guys can see death note is my favorite anime i've covered quite a lot of it onto the channel and i plan to do more in the future if you've enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button down below so kiss you again on a future video if you're unaware i do have a patreon there is a couple of levels that you can select starting from two pounds per month going all the way to five pounds a month 
currently and they include a host of bunch of different perks some really cool early access to videos you can even request movies for me to watch and review on patreon exclusive or onto my youtube channel and you get so much more perks including merch that is coming very very soon so the link to my patreon is down below in the description box uh, go check it out and i want to give a big massive thank you to all my awesome patreons on level one or two for supporting the channel it really means a lot and they all have youtube channels so please go show them some support and until the next time that i see you i'll be seeing you later